As we all know, the Jedi were proponents of a conceptualization of the Force known as Balance, seen most directly through their prophecy of the Chosen One, a being who would destroy the Sith and ultimately bring balance to the Force. The exact workings of this concept of balance aren't entirely clear, either within Legends or in the ways balance has been incorporated within the current canon. But the outcomes are fairly straightforward. The Sith would be destroyed, and the entities that comprise the Force, the Light and Dark Side, would be held in balance, bringing an end to chaos and disorder. This Chosen One prophecy and the training of Anakin Skywalker are the most direct connections the Jedi Order had to the concept of balance, but there were other actions taken by the Jedi that promoted the idea. For example, in the Rule of Two era, the 1000 year period prior to the events of the films that marked a golden age for the Republic through the believed eradication of the Sith, the Jedi attempted to promote the concept of balance by immersing the galaxy in the energy of the light side of the Force. Whatever was meant by balance, the Jedi believed that doing this would achieve it. By bathing the galaxy in light, they hoped to prevent the return of the Sith and to hold the dark and light sides in harmony, an ordered and peaceful state of balance. It was this action by the Jedi where we get to see how the thinking of the Sith evolved regarding the Jedi concept of balance, ultimately culminating in the conclusions made by the Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Plagueis. Plagueis knew the Jedi held on to the myth of the Chosen One and that they created a type of force bubble that extended across the galaxy, attempting to prevent any infiltration by the dark side. And more important, Plagueis knew this was done to promote the Jedi's desired balance. Plagueis wasn't the only Sith who knew this and gave consideration to the Jedi attempts to create harmony between the light and dark. But the novel Darth Plagueis provides us with details of why Plagueis and the Sith who came before him hated the Jedi concept of balance and why they rejected it as delusional. We should immediately point out that the Sith didn't simply reject balance because it would give equal credence to the light when the Sith were just all about the dark side. This way of thinking was put into greater perspective by the time of Plagueis' era and was much more elaborate than the simple notions of good versus evil. Going back to our example of the Jedi immersing the galaxy in light, the Sith were baffled for generations as to how this light side bubble could even create balance. But regardless, any idea of balance was rejected, a delusion of the Jedi that spoke to a clear misunderstanding of the nature of the Force itself. The Sith evolved to recognize that the Force was self-regulating. Basically, the Force had a will of its own, known of course as the will of the Force, and regardless of Jedi prophecies, chosen ones, or actions that promoted the light and prevented the infiltration of the dark, the Force was in charge and would direct the course of the galaxy as it wanted. This really represented a greater respect for the will of the Force among the Sith than the Jedi, but that might be a video for a different day. For the Sith, the self-regulating nature of the Force made any desires for a state of balance delusional. Merely alluding to some desire for balance was a fool's game, and because the Force self-regulated itself based on its own will separate from the Jedi and Sith, the concept of holding the Force in balance, a state of harmony between the light and dark sides, was abhorrent to the Sith and fiercely rejected. This rejection of balance resulted in a more important goal for the Sith. Led by the conclusion of Darth Bane that the Force would naturally protect those strong in its abilities, the Sith wanted to utilize this protection to achieve their ultimate goal, to topple and take control of the Force itself. If the Force was truly self-regulating and followed a path of its own, then the Sith would have to take the reins of this self-regulating mechanism and find a way to dominate the Force's will. Therefore, in the Rule of Two era, the Sith goal was a far greater one and directly resulted from the rejection of the Jedi goal of balance. They would come to dominate the Force and become the embodiment of the galaxy's animating principle. This is why the Sith hated the Celestials and the idea that entities such as the Mortis Gods controlled and guided the Force. This type of concept was difficult for the Sith to understand or base any type of theory or path forward on. The Sith wouldn't know where to begin with something like this, but they did understand how to gain power through the dark side. Whereas the Chosen One prophecy represented the Jedi search for a champion who would manifest as a vessel of pure force energy, momentarily attempting to achieve balance, the Sith looked to achieve these abilities themselves. They wouldn't be passive like the Jedi, but come to dominate the force. But make no mistake, the Sith had no time for balance and instead looked to overthrow the Force so they could create the future they wanted, something they couldn't understand why the Jedi wouldn't also attempt. So there we have it, why the Sith rejected the idea of balance and the Force. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. 
or perhaps follow us on Twitter at SW Reading Club for updates regarding the channel or support the channel through Patreon for access to exclusive rewards and discussions. If not for me... For self-regulation.